Hello, everybody. Welcome to the program. My name is Mike. I'm going to be narrating this one live stream today. So let's get started. I know my hair is wild and it's been a wild week for all of us. Um, so what you hear in the background is a scanner. So why this? Why are we going to do a show to program a scanner even though you're hearing a scanner? Right now, well, I actually have two scanners. Um, one is op I'm going to leave one operating, which is this little small right here. The scanner right now, I like it. Um, it's pretty much handling my simicast stuff, tone outs, or whatnot. Um, so it's good to have two scanners around in case something really goes on. Um, you know that both scanners going to be operating, um, and uh, you won't miss a beat. Um, today, we're going to be, let me turn this down a little bit for you. So today, we're going to be doing this little booger right here. This is my priority channel or scanner that handles all my, uh, I guess, Baytown PD, FD, you know, uh, those cha those certain channels that you don't hear on a regular scanner, like this one right here. Even though Ecom is on the other trucking channels too, you can hear it on that scanner as well, which is, I think it's VHC. Today we're just going to be focusing on this little baby right here. So if you have any questions, you can uh, put them in the chat. This is a live stream. I'm not going to... Uh, moderate the live stream. I mean, uh, actually, I don't. I don't moderate the chat. So we're gonna start over. What I mean by starting over is do a uh, uh, factory manual factory, uh, which resets everything, starts fresh. Um, so how do you do a pretty much start fresh on this? type of scanners, even though you don't have a, a computer around um, to help you out, you know, cheating and whatnot. Um, just making sure before anything else happens, I want to make sure nothing drops before we actually do get started. Um, once you go to the factory, everything's erased, whatnot, even your priority channel, the whole entire settings is erased. Um, you're pretty much starting fresh. So, first, what you want to do to do a factory is just turn off the scanner. After that, um, once you turn it on, you push zero. Let me do that now. You ready? And it's going to ask you for uh, system test. So, uh, select the test and whatnot. Um, what you want to do is push one. So, let me do that again. Then push enter. It's, right now it's bringing up a message for me. Oh, my camera's no good. I gotta get me another one. You press any key and it's back to a normal setting, which you heard a beep. You're gonna hear a couple beeps, two beeps, you know, after that, it's gonna take you to a screen that says, um, press new to create objects. Um, what that means is you can pretty much create anything that you want. Um, you can't listen to cell phones on here. You can't listen to uh, um, pretty much. I don't listen to secure channels. Um, I have not tested it on this scanner yet. I'm not going to do that. Um, it's a good thing to have those secure chips and those radios. So people like us that love listening to scanners won't be able to hear their conversations. Um, the first thing I like to do when I program a scanner, something like this one right here, is do the global. Um, so push global. Going to bring up another menu. Um, you can play with, play, just play around with it for a little while, see how you like it. All the time, I always turn off the key beeps. Because um, it drives you nuts, eventually. If you're one of those people that has a computer and be able to hook it up to a cable in this port right here, 
and quickly program it, good for you. I'm one of those old school type of people. Um, what you're hearing is still beeping. What you want to do is turn on your global attention. Okay. Turn on your priority if you want to worry about that. It's going to ask you for your colors on your LED. If you want to mess with that, you can. Um, your priority channel is very important. Um, I like to put it on channel 22. This thing has 22 channels. So you put it on channel 22. That's where Skywarn actually operates off of uh, as well. Your priority intervals, you want to do a 0, 2 on it. If you go 0, 1, it will not let you. Um, quick priority retention, you can turn on auto if you want. Search delay. Listen, this scanner right here, I can tell you it's good, but it's kind of slow in searching. Um, priorities is probably something you won't like on the scanner. Um, there's others that you might like, but it's up to you. Um, on this video, normally what I do on the scanner before I restored it is uh, I always say no on duplicate check, you know, checks. But this time I'm going to leave it yes. Um, but this time I'm going to just go ahead and say no because we have a lot of work to do. Um, talk group ID. Um, I like to use hex. I don't like to use DEC. Um, hex is pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, so it's the uh, normal is this whatever you want, whatever uh, DEC or hex. Um, this uh, this put down the set in hex. Top group nor say no. Um, show CC info. That's up to you. I like to say yes. Um, you can actually set a password on the scanner to prevent um, anybody screwing with it, like your kids or whatnot. I do not have a password set on here, so um, in case something do drop and I have to put a brand new talk group in it pretty quickly, I can without worrying about a password. Um, it's good to have a password protect on it, but also it's not good. To have a password to check on it. So today we we will be focusing on the East Harris County um, scanner franks for the talk groups. Um, we're going to be programming in just a few talk groups after we program the scanner franks. You can see the scanner franks in the talk groups. I put a comment uh, down already before the live stream actually started to. Preserve time and effort. Um, so you might want to look at that to see where we're going to go with this. God, I need a haircut. Okay, anyways. Uh, so we're going to do that. So how do you set up a talk group? So let me switch over to my other screen. That's much better. I know I'm live and everything. My sinuses are, are acting up. So... When you go to uh, radioreference.com and find whatever you, area you live at, like Harris County, you're going to see a lot of scanner franks for the uh, trunking. Uh, so uh, when you see the red and the blue first or somewhere in the group, what you want to do is always program the red and the blue first. Like, for instance, I'm going to go through all of this uh, with y'all. So y'all won't be lost. Okay. So what you want to do is to create a new, like something very new. When you click new, it's going to take you to talk group, conversation, or search. What you want to do is click on talk group. It's going to bring up another menu. It's going to say scan list, talk system, um, ID, type. Uh, tag ID, lockout, priority, um, that type of uh, talk group. Um, so for the uh, TSIS, it's going to automatically ask you new, okay, N-E-W. 
you can uh, go ahead on your soft keys, push enter. It's uh, on the next screen, it's going to ask you if it's Motorola 800 or 900, Motorola uh, VHF or UHF, uh, P25 manual, P25 auto. What I do is always set it on P25 auto. There's a reason to that. If you do it on manual, you're screwed. I mean, you will barely hear somebody yatter on the scanner. Um, I tried it a few times um, before I came on the uh, internet uh, a few days ago, um, just to playing with the scanner. I'm one of those people that will experiment with the scanner and see who, who's talking on what. Um, so I'm pretty much experienced on who talks on what right now. Um, like in the next couple of videos from now, a couple of live streams from now, we're going to be programming in Chambers County on this scanner right here. Um, so let's get back to today's program on this scanner. So on the tag, tag you wait, what I would normally do on a tag, it's going to tell you um, what you want to name the system. Um, it's already saying system in the menu. You can change it to whatever you feel like putting down. Like for this uh, talk system, what I'm going to do is put down East Harris County. I'm pretty fast at this right now, so y'all bear with me. You can put East HC if you want or whatever you want. That's up to you. It's your scanner. I don't have to tell you who you not want to talk to, whatnot. Um, the next uh, thing you want to do is program your scanner frames. That's right after the tag. Now, there's a total of uh, 12 francs that we're going to be programming in this talk group or talk system right now. So, uh, select your uh, system francs and start with channel 1. Like I say, I, like to, I always like to do the red and the blue first, then all the blacks. Um, I like to go backwards. There is a reason behind that because of the red and the blue will uh, pretty much your set. And that's what they always pretty much start out with. That's your two priorities on the talk system that they will always key up first. Um, one of the talk groups, at least, will always use the red and the blue first um, just to find a signal off of it. If not, then it's going to be selecting uh, the black, which... Um, which, you, if you're familiar with uh, RadioPreference.com, you will see what I'm talking about. When you program uh, a talk group or a talk system in your uh, UHF scanner. So let me go ahead and start with uh, programming these numbers in real fast. I'm pretty real. I'm pretty fast at the smell, so y'all bear with me. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk, be talking about, um, what you can listen on the East Harris County. Um, there's a lot you can listen to actually, a lot more than Central Harris County, um, North, Northeast Harris County, um, including City of Houston stuff. Um, that's my VHF scanner that you're listening in the background, by the way. It's up to you what you want to listen to. Um, me, you know, whatever, wherever I uh, live at, that comes priority over everything else. Uh, East Harris County is where I'm at, so I will program East Harris County first. Even though everything else is, you know, juicy news, um, East Harris County is your best bet because that is where um, your constables, your county sheriff's department, um, whatnot. I'm going to tell you more about that tomorrow um, to better explain what you, uh, what you can actually hear on these group of numbers that we're programming in today. So there's a lot of numbers that um, on this one website, but you just want to focus on the East Harris County one because that is your that's your best bet. Um, Huffman is on Central Harris County. Huffman Fire Department. Remember that. 
and they're not on the East Parish County one right now. But what I was uh, told um, by a fire chief in our area that Huffman Fire Department will be uh, going to ECOM. Well, ECOM is running off the East Harris County. I'm going to talk about more of that tomorrow um, in the live broadcast. I'm almost done, guys. I tell you, I'm pretty quick. And I'm pro I am literally programming the scanner live for y'all. So um, I'm not going. I'm not doing this on a computer. I'm doing it manually. Uh, I think doing it manually is more productive, and plus you get to you know that you'll get to know everything better with the scanner. See, the computer offers a lot. Uh, uh, the software offers a lot. But it does not really will help you. When you do it manually, you know what you're putting in. You learn the system a little bit more, whatnot. Okay. You want to learn the system. You want to learn your scanner. And your computer will not help you learn the scanner. I have been there. I have done that. I'm learning by experience. And when you're done programming... What you want to hit is F1 to save uh, everything that you programmed. Um, like I said, in this uh, episode, we're going to be uh, programming Baytown. Um, just a few Baytowns. Um, what I'd like to do is on panel one for the scanner is the fire department stuff. For, uh, for the uh, police department, I like to use 11. Um, so if I don't want to listen to him anymore or it's bedtime or whatnot, I will turn off Bay Town Police tomorrow. I love you guys, but I got to sleep once in a while, right? Um, once you're done, like I said, once you're done programming the scanner, programming in the uh, pranks and everything else, um, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to go expert mode or anything. You keep on pushing down a row in this uh, setup. Um, do not do the narrow FM. There's a reason behind that. Harris, East Harris County does not do narrow FM on UFC, UFC. Um, Also, um, there is a multi-site option where you can do. East Harris County has a lot of a lot of antennas around. Um, Howlands has one antenna on uh, Wade Road that is linked up to Precinct 2. It is your choice. Uh, Baytown also has one uh, by the police department. It is your choice if you want to do a multi-site. Um, Chambers County, I think, will run off of that too. Um, but I'm not too sure. I'm still learning the antennas around here. But you can select the uh, multi-site if you want. If not, you can leave it alone. It's up to you. You can play with it. You can experiment with it and whatnot. So when you're completely done programming the uh, talk system, you push save. It's going to bring up the uh, TSYS ID minus 000. zero, zero. Um, so it's going to bring you back to the main menu um, that you started with in the beginning. Um, Y'all need to remember one more last thing before we eat, uh, get started on the uh, on the scan list. When you do your toxis on the on the scan list, what you want to do is push enter to turn that uh, list off. There's a reason because if you uh, if you Leave it on. You're going to hear everybody talk at the same time. What you want to do is have it run in the background. The background means um, <laughs> you ain't going to hear anybody. Well, you, what's going to happen is once you program your talk groups, it's going to point over to the East uh, Harris County, which we program. And uh, let me fix on here. Sorry about that, guys. That's much better. Uh, it's still not light. Let me dim it a little bit. Is that better? Mm, there it is. And that's what we set up already. 
And you see right here, I turned off the uh, on skin list number one. Um, I turned that one off. I'm leaving it running in the background, like I said. Okay. So once you're done programming all that crap in and whatnot and blah, 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 turn off the delay and set the delay time as one. Because it will not let you do zero on the scanner for some weird reason. And that talk ID is 10. Um, so what next? You need to start programming in your talk groups. Like I said, I'm really fast. Um, in the beginning of the program, we set it on hex. Hex is pretty quick. Um, so for channel one, we're going to do Bayton FD. Um, that's my priority is more fire department than police department. Fire departments, you can get a lot of information off the fire department in the first place. You know that, and I know that. Um, so when you're ready, it's going to bring you back to the menu that says talk group, convo, or search. You push talk group. Scan list is up to you. Um, for the fire department, I like to use scan list number one. And I will set the priority uh, to point it out. You know, when they clip the mic, it's going to pretty much, you know, if the PD is talking and whatnot, the fire department is going to overrule the PD. And I get to hear a incident. Um, another cool feature about this one scanner it has LED. And if you turn off your backlight, which I did for this demo, there's a feature in here that will allow, allow you to set your backlight to turn on on you know certain top groups of your choice. Sorry for the background. Our kids are misbehaving a little bit uh, this week. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Programming the IEs. So for the Bayton FD, it's this real simple, 403, and push enter. Okay, it's going to let you uh, do a tag ID. What I like to do is something plain simple, something I can remember, like uh, Bayton FD 1, and it says that already in the website. If you have a computer, you can do this pretty fast. I'm pretty fast at this too, so. Oh, I forgot to push one. Remember, check your work. And turn on your priority if you want. Um, I have my LD set to light up red or FD to let me know something's up with Baytown. Turn on the backlight. You, there's an option to flash the backlight, but it's turned on. They have an option of alarms. Um, it's up to you if you want to listen to alarm. If not, no, just leave it alone. Turn on your fave, favorite. Um, on the scanner, there's a favorite option, where it's just going to run your favorites. Um, I like to turn on the Skywarn for Baytown and Fire Department. Um, turn off your delays. Um, and hit save and test it. It's very important that you test your system before you move on. A lot of people know that. It's very important. Right now it's scanning. Oh, there it goes. Right now it's scanning Harris, East Harris County. And I've already set list number one. So we took care of the primary channel of the Baytown Fire Department. Uh, let me go ahead and quickly program Fire 2 and Fire 3. That won't take me long. So you push program, push new, push talk group. Okay, I'm going to do this real fast. Y'all know me. I've been doing this for quite a long time, and I program scanners. So professionally, so I know what I'm talking about, but I don't advertise it. I'm a very private person, guys. 
it's really fast when we do this. Always test your work as well. I'm not going to test my work. I know, uh, kind of know where I'm going to aim at with this uh, setup. For F2 and F3, you don't have to set your priorities or anything else. That's up to you, but I am putting it in list one or channel one. Because uh, fire departments need to hang out with each, each other once in a while, right? Uh, the last one is uh, Baytown Fire Channel 3. Let me tell you what's up with the Baytown Fire. And this is by experience. I'm talking about experience. Um, when they're running a fire call or a major incident, um, you know, they don't want to type the primary channel, which is A16 or Fire 1. What they normally do for uh, structure fires, and I'm going to talk and work at the same time. For structure fires or hazmat or whatnot, they go to fire two or fire three. What you want to do is once you hear fire two or fire three, um, this one will actually allow you to push manual. Okay, y'all listen to me on this one. If you want to stop scanning for a little bit, you can just push manual. It's going to bring you up to your first list. And you can uh, push the down arrow and go to that channel. It will not flip over once you do that to channel one or whatever else you put in your scanner. Or scanner. Okay. Now need to listen to that. Push manual, then it's going to stop scanning, and the uh, you're pretty much set to listen to the whole entire incident from start to finish. Um, like the Jack in the Box fire we just recently had in Baytown, guys. Um, they were using, I think, Fire 2. But there was a couple of units using the primary channel. Uh, I think Command was using F1 and F3. Um, it was a crazy incident. Everybody knows that. And I enjoyed listening to the scanner that night. So I can actually learn something about fire and whatnot. Sorry, my whiskers are itching me today. So what I like to do once I get done with the first list is push manual. Gonna, like I said, it's going to bring up. So right now we're on manual. Okay, this is manual right here. That's based on FD3. And you can go up and down to check your work which I'm doing right now. Okay, it looks good on my side. Now, next is uh, the Baytown Fire, not Baytown Fire, but the Baytown Police Department. Um, it's your choice if you want to program the Baytown Detectives. Um, during the day, they're pretty busy. They will ch tie up your, uh, your whatever list you have the Baytown Police under. Um, so you need to set up a list completely away from, um, your, uh, Baytown PD 1 and 2 and your tax. Okay. It's very important that you do that. They will blow up your scanner, the Baytown PD detectives during the day. I do not program them in. There's no reason for me to program them in, even though I'm friends with a lot of people over there. But there's a lot of good information off A3, okay, which is Baytown PD Detectives. But it is up to you if you want to program it in. I don't, okay. Um, there's no reason for me to do that, okay. Remember, we're working off hex tonight, so um, so tonight we're going to go to put Baytown PD on channel 11. So how would we uh, do that? I'm going to show you how to, uh, I'm going to tell you how to do it. And I'll probably actually show you how to uh, turn on channel 11. But right, now, but right now, let's focus on just getting them programmed in. Um, all my please want to ask you to, it's going to come on the, uh, list one. That is up to you, not me. I like to push enter, turn off channel one. Uh... Use your soft keys. Your right one will, uh, your right arrow would 
take you, you know, increase the numbers. Uh, right now, I just push uh, go up all the way to channel 11, push enter, and I'm gonna start programming real fast. So I can go ahead and take all the loose early. Oh, that, there's my daughter. She got in trouble tonight. So let's do this. Um, you can put down Baytown PD1 if you want. I'm going to do it for time's sake. And not because I know I'm talking, uh, because I know them, I know the voices pretty well. I know the dispatch pretty well. Uh, turn off the delays if you want. I do that for reporting reasons. And always hit save. Uh, let's do channel two of, it, of the Baytown PD. Remember, turn off uh, your uh, turn off channel one. Turn on channel eleven, and start programming real fast. I'm not going to program all the Baytown PD unless I really need something. I I kind of know. I have all their hexes memorized, by the way. <laughs> kind of funny, ain't it? They're programming a lot of scanners, by the way. So, that's how come I memorize a lot of numbers over here. You can turn on the priority if you want, or leave it off. You're going to turn off your delays or whatnot. So, let's give them a try. We're back on scan. Let me turn turn everything over over here. So we're back on scan. It's really simple. Function. You what you want to do is hit function. It's not doing it today for some reason. Oh. Hit function. Okay. Functions turned on. Okay, you see F, function 1, then hit 1. There you go. You just turn on the bottom, which is channel 11. Okay. Any questions? I, what I like to do uh, after I program a few things in here uh, to do a reset on it, uh, after resetting and programming new uh, talk groups in it is turn it off uh, for a couple seconds and turn it back on. Okay, always remember test your work. Test it. It's very important. Um, right now we're just waiting on somebody to talk. Remember to extend your antenna. In some cases you have to. But um, I'm going to do this offline off the air is program e common in the scanner and uh, all the chat groups. Uh, I'm gonna do that off off the air so um, I can get back to normal. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be talking about what you can listen on East Harris County uh, scanner franks on uh, what we just done to tonight. Um, then. Next week, we're going to be programming Chambers County. Um, I thought long and hard about something, by the way, is uh, I've done this before. Um, is this scanner is capable of allowing you to enter more scanner franks in a talk sys. Um, so I'm going to combine Harris County and Chambers County or East Harris County and Chambers County together. There's a reason. Chambers County does not have many scanner freaks. So is East Harris County. Traffic. That was based on peace, uh, police department. So I'm going to combine Chambers and East Harris County together because they do, because I think it's common sense. There's, an, there's enough room to do that. Um, in the bank. Trust me. I know where that is, but we don't do uh, full arrest calls when I report news. 
Um, but I'm going to show you a few things, a few tricks, uh, show you around the scanner. If you have any questions, remember, go to my Facebook or Twitter. Um, send me a comment or a message. I will quickly, or when I can, I'll answer you back. Um, but at night, I like to turn off channel 11 or the bottom top banks because, man, that's the bottom ones, 1 through 20, I mean, not 1, but 11 through 20 is my police departments. Now, what I like to do is program all the police departments from East Harris County talk groups along with uh, the chambers. So if I get tired of listening to the fire departments, I know there's a lot of activity on the police departments. And that's a fact. There's a lot of activities. Um, so we're, tomorrow we're going to talk about what you can listen off of uh, the Harris County talk banks um, without, touch, without touching what we've done tonight. Um, you need to know what you can listen to off those talk banks and what you can't listen to. Um, I figured everything out. I tested it. I experiment with it. Right now, I'm not running off a multi tire. Um, you see how clear it is in the background. Let me turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. Um, and they key up the mic. Um, next week, like I said, we're going to uh, go ahead and program in Chambers County in the same talk sys that we programmed tonight. You can actually do that. You can actually go back in and put in more scatter franks in that talk sys. Okay. I don't know how to, to uh, delete it yet, but I know how to enter more. Um, before we actually did program, reprogram the scanner, I had a lot of agencies on the scanner. A lot. Talking about sheriff department, constables, um, fire departments, all throughout our little region. Um, let's see what else. It's up to you what you want to do to your scanner. It's not up to me. Up to you. Any questions? Give me a holla. Um, it's kind of slow tonight. I don't blame it. It's Thursday, and it's time for me to go eat. Um, so tonight we programmed the fire department and police department. Uh, we did both tech channels of the fire department. I didn't program any tech channels from the police department. I did, I did program channels one and two from the police department. I programmed all three from the fire department. Uh, on the next episode, you'll probably hear ecom. Um, they're pretty simple. What I like to do for ecom before I let you go, but what I like to do is I don't program uh, the ecom east and west on the scanner that we programmed tonight. I saved that for my VHF uh, VHF scanner. Why? Why do you ask me that? Because ecom will tie up what you really want to listen to half of the time. They will they will key up the mic. Um, I heard a lot of complaints already um, from a customer saying, "Hey, how do you lock them out?" What not? Because they because ecom covers a lot of area. They do east and west Harris County. So uh, I like to use another scanner scanner just to do the ecom east and west. Put the tag channels on uh, scan list number two on the scanner that we just program. Um, they don't they uh, they do not do uh, the tag channels on the VHF scanner. They don't. You have to use the scanner that we program in tonight. You have to. Um, for TAC 3, like TAC 2, TAC 3, and TAC 8 is the heavily, heavy used for ECOM. TAC 3 is your, uh, they pretty much used uh, TAC 2 ECOM for medical calls, TAC 3 for fire. Crosby used TAC 8. So I'm going to go through all that tomorrow with you um, so you won't get confused. Again, Huffman is on the Central Harris County 
uh, talk system. Um, I'll go with that. I go. I'll discuss more about that tomorrow. Um, I don't want to confuse you what we just done tonight. So I want you to take a lot of notes. Okay, there's no test, whatnot, but you need to know how to program your scanner. You need to know your. You need to know your scanner pretty well. That's big time. Um, there's an option that will allow you to, if you want to listen to patient reports. I use, I, I love listening to patient reports, but I do, I will not go on social media to talk about it. You know, it's a major, if it's a major incident, like, hey, uh, auto ped located at so-and-so and they call lifeline. Um, I got a surprise for you and it's going to be tomorrow. So until then, I will see you later.